I'm David Skidmore. Today we're going to be talking about rolls or tremolos on the marimba. Tremolos are an expressive technique and they're how percussionists create the impression of sustain on our instruments. In today's lesson we're going to focus on what speed your rolls should be, how to shift from note to note while playing rolls, and we're also going to introduce the musical concept of rubato. In a later lesson we'll talk about special kinds of rolls like a one-handed roll or a ripple roll, but for today we're just going to talk about the traditional marimba roll with four note chords. Traditional rolls on the marimba are played hand to hand with the hands going back and forth, right, left, right, left, right, left. Let's try out a traditional roll using the first measure of the etude that's a part of this lesson. play rolls, your first thought might be that your rolls have to be as fast as you can possibly play them, but that's not true. In fact, a medium roll speed or a slower roll speed might sound better in a certain part of a piece of music than a faster roll speed. And it's definitely the truth that any roll speed that sounds out of control is not going to sound good. Rolls only need to be played fast enough to give the impression of a long sustained sound. And there are a couple of factors that will help determine how fast your rolls should be at any given moment specifically how high or how low you're playing on the instrument and the character of the music that you're playing. Let's try an experiment. Play a roll on the highest note of your marimba. You need a fast roll speed up here in the highest register because the bars aren't very resonant. They don't ring for a really long time. And if you use a slower roll speed, it'll actually end up sounding like a rhythm, which you don't want. Now let's play a roll on the lowest note on your marimba. Because the bar is so resonant, it rings for such a long time, there are a variety of different roll speeds that can work in the lower register of the marimba. A faster roll speed in the lower register makes the music sound more agitated. A slower roll speed will make the music sound more calm. So when you're deciding how fast or how slow to play a roll, think about how high or low you're playing on the marimba and think about the character of the music that you're playing. Also, many people forget that when you're learning to play rolls, it's just like learning to play any other type of music, you have to start slowly. So you can't start by playing your rolls at top speed. And that's one of the reasons why in the exercises that are part of this lesson, I wrote all the rolls and those exercises out as 16th notes with very specific tempo indications. So use those tempo indications as you're working on these exercises. Now I'd like to talk about roll shifts. When playing rolls and marimba music, you want to make the transition from one note to the next as smooth as possible. So let's talk about how we can make that happen. Take a look at warm-up exercise number one. In this exercise, the right hand changes notes in the second measure of the exercise, but the left hand stays on the same notes the entire exercise. When you're playing rolls on marimba and the right hand changes but the left hand stays the same, that right hand will change exactly on the beat as notated. This is a little bit hard to explain, but if you'll check out how the exercise is notated in your book, I think it'll make sense to you. Now let's get our metronomes out and we'll start at the slowest printed tempo marking, quarter equals 100. I want you to notice a couple things as we're playing this exercise. First of all, my hands are shifting between notes in exactly the same way that we've been talking about shifting hands in every other lesson that's a part of this series. As soon as my right hand is done playing the last note over here, it immediately shifts to the next set of pitches. So 
So all of that technique that you've been working on from the very beginning applies to rolls in the same way as it does to other marimba music. This practice tempo for your tremolos is obviously too slow to actually give the impression of a sustained sound, but it's totally fine. You're going to start slow just like this so that we're in control as the tempo gradually speeds up and it starts to sound like a sustained tremolo sound. <laughs> Now take a look at warm-up exercise number two. In this exercise, only the left hand changes pitches while the right hand stays the same. And when this happens in marimba music, you want to shift your left hand just before the notated change in pitch. This is a really cool and subtle way to make your rolls sound even more connected as you shift from one pitch to the next. So let's try this exercise once again, starting at the slowest printed tempo. I mentioned earlier that I wrote out all of the exercises in this lesson as 16th notes as a reminder to start slow when you're learning rolls. But I also wrote all of these exercises out as 16th notes to help reinforce this concept of which hand to change first when shifting from chord to chord in rolled music. Now let's take a look at warm-up exercise number three. In this exercise, both hands are changing pitch. And when that happens, you always want to move the left hand to its new pitches first, just before the right hand moves. So I'm going to demonstrate this starting very slowly. <laughs> quicker. And a little quicker. Again, this technique of shifting the left hand first whenever that left hand is changing a note in a rolled chord is just to make these shifts smoother and more connected. These exercises, written out in 16th notes, should give you a good idea of how to practice any music that incorporates rolls on the marimba. And in the longer roll exercise that's a part of this lesson, actually what I did is I took the first 13 measures of the etude that's a part of this lesson and I wrote it out as 16th notes. Once again, this should give you a great opportunity to start slowly with your hands moving at a much slower speed than you would typically play for a roll that allows you to get comfortable with the motions that you're making and the 16th notes will clearly indicate to you which hand should change first in any given chord change in the etude. So go ahead and start with that longer exercise that's a part of this lesson at the slowest marked tempo and then gradually work up the tempo as you become more comfortable. And by the time you get to that top tempo, you'll be playing at a great roll speed for the etude. The last thing that we're going to talk about today is the musical concept of rubato. Rubato is an expressive technique where you subtly and temporarily change the tempo to uh, add some kind of expression to a musical phrase. So rather than playing perfect metronomic time, when you're using rubato, you will subtly bend the tempo just a little bit to be expressive. Rubato is obviously used a lot more in solo music than it is in ensemble music, because if you're playing in an ensemble or an orchestra or a band, it's really complicated to get everyone in the room to subtly change tempo at exactly the same time. But when you're playing solo, rubato is an amazing way to be expressive. In fact, if you go back and watch the previous etudes that are a part of this series, you'll notice that I use rubato all the time as an expressive technique in my performances.